think I have any candy. Uh, maybe try the next house over. They probably have some, but. Because it's cute. Listen, I, uh, I told you kindly to just go on to the next house and you're kind of freaking me out, dude. So I need you just, just to go ahead and go. Okay, listen, bud. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this Halloween special, we're talking about adding a ghost inside your videos, an easy way to do it within Resolve 16. Let's get into it. The other night I shot that little short film and thought it'd be a great example to show you how a very simple effect can have a very good impact if it's put in the right circumstances and the right situation. First thing I'm gonna do is show you how I mask the ghost out inside Resolve, and then I'm also gonna show you some tips and tricks on things to maybe make your next short film a little bit more scarier, better lighting on a budget, those kinds of things. But let's dive inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So you guys can see I went above and beyond really creating this short film with sound design, color, and just tweaking a few things to really get a feel and look that I liked. Of course, the big effect and reveal was when I pulled the sheet off and there's no ghost or person underneath there. You can see if I click frame by frame going through here that it actually turned out really freaking good. My only complaint was is he had the bucket in his hand and I had a second shot without the bucket so it wouldn't come in frame when I ripped the sheet off. But because it kind of exposed a spot, I had to use the first take because it just looked better in the end. That's a bonus tip for you guys. I would definitely shoot a couple takes if you're gonna do this effect. Maybe do some slower, some faster at different angles. Let me show you everything that went into this shot. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit decompose in place so we can reveal our video clips that I put in a compound clip, make it way easier, I'll explain in a minute. So on the top clip, you can see I've got the actual footage. If I shut it off, I have a clean plate underneath it. This is something you want to do. You're gonna wanna shoot your video clip. Don't move your tripod at all. Then have your actors step out of frame. Don't touch anything, don't tweak anything, and just get a good 10 seconds of just a clean plate. That's what that's called. It's just a clean plate giving you an image underneath it. So if we hop inside the color tab, you can see that I've actually got three different nodes on it. I've got my corrector, then I've also got my color grade on the second one, and then on my third one, I've actually got where the mask is. So you can see if I go frame by frame through here, what's actually happening, so let me delete this mask and show you how I did it. I'm going to right click, I'm gonna hit add alpha output. It's gonna drop this little blue box down here on the right. I'm gonna click on the first node and with the Mac, I'm gonna hit option S to bring up another node. I'm gonna connect the blue to the blue. Then still with the third node selected, I'm gonna go right here to the window. I'm gonna select the cursor and then I'm just gonna start drawing things out. You can see automatically it took him out. If you need to invert this, you're gonna come right down here and you're gonna tap that button. That gives you the option to pick and choose which side of the mask you want showing. Then all I need to do is make sure my correction three, which is this node right here, if you rename that, it'll say what it is here. Make sure that's highlighted. I'm gonna move this just a little bit to drop a keyframe. Then I'm gonna go over a frame. I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of move. You can see right here is where we had a problem. So if you need to, you can start bringing these around and actually add more to kind of cut it out. You're really just going frame by frame and cutting it out. If you guys haven't seen my mask tutorial video, I'll link it up here, check it out. It dives way more into what this is. This is basically that effect just put in a different situation. After you've done your mask, I would jump back into the edit tab. I would highlight both clips, right click and make a new compound clip. 
That way, if you're gonna add any effects later, like doing pushes or the handheld look or anything like that, it's not affecting one or the other or your mask because it's all in one video clip. Now that I've showed you how to do that, let's talk about some tips to help you guys out. Tip number one, sound design. I specifically shot this short and only had the microphone running when I had my dialogue pieces because I knew that would just be a complete pain to sync that up and post later. But all the other shots, I did not have the mic on at all. When I load into Resolve, I sit down, do a rough cut, then go back through, do a clean pass. Then I start tweaking and finding all the sounds I need. It's very time consuming, but the best thing to do is really just focus on one thing. Like I had a door opening and I knew I needed a squeak when it opened and closed. I went through the whole film and just put that specific sound where it needed. Then I went on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And it really helps you just dial in one specific sound. That way you don't export this and upload it and then later realize I forgot the footsteps. I forgot the doorbell. I forgot the TV in the background, those kinds of things. Tip number two is draw your shots out and create that suspense. I really didn't have much of a choice to do more cuts than I would like because it was just me and my son being the ghost. That's it. I did, however, try to drag them out as long as I could without making them boring. Also adding post work like handheld, digital slides, pushes, all that jazz. The studio version has an effect that's handheld drag and drop. It's really freaking good. The free version I do not think has that. So if that's something you guys would like to see me recreate for the free version or something you can do at home and save, let me know in the comments below. I think that would be a really good video. And my third and final tip is the lighting. The lighting is so crucial in any film you're doing. I wanted to do everything as cheap as possible. So I actually only used two lights out of my entire lighting kit that I had. Everything else was just practicals that was already in my house. I brought my lamp for my desk downstairs to give it some kind of practical different color on there. I changed the light bulb on my front porch to this yellow so it had this weary off putting just color to it. Then I spiced it up by adding the Young Nuo YN360 above the door to also match that weird yellow. I did a video about that light. I'll link it up here above. Check it out. It's a really good light and I highly recommend it. And then I had this red light flooding down the stairs just to have this off putting look. That was from the Luxley Cello. It's really on the high end, but it has an abundance of effects inside of it and you can dial it above and beyond over any RGB light I have ever seen. Again, you don't need those lights and that was just me stepping it up and going just a little extra. The cheapest and best solution I found while shooting this is I have these can lights in the ceiling. So I just took some pillowcases, some t-shirts, anything I had lying around the house and I wound up thumbtacking it around it and directing the light. You can see it makes a massive difference when you have it to when you don't have it. And I kind of left a little gap open channeling lights to kind of make it a little more directional. It wound up being 80% of what was lighting my short film and it really was the cheapest out of everything. So there you go guys, that's how you mask and add a ghost inside Resolve 16 and three different effects to up your videos. I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. I hope you have an amazing week. I'm Josh Haynes, the Iron Giant. Hit all those buttons below, like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, so what you're saying is you want to join the dark side. Oh, changing colors. DJ Wolf! No. I gave Jay a really hard time about a fly being in his video. And now one has came in my office. Where are you at? Where are you at? It's cool. It's meant to be, it's meant to be that way. It's, it's cool, it's, it's cool. It's meant to be that way.